Oh, it, I already did. It, it just started. Okay. Yep, I see that. I, I beat you to the button. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm going to enlarge the presentation. And okay, folks, what we're going to do here, I, you know, we do this every day, uh, and every day it's a little bit different. And today we're going to talk about how to host the blab. For those of you who want to know how to host it earlier in the week, uh, we talked about how to use blab. And tomorrow we'll talk about some common best practices to use when doing a blab or any live streaming. And then Friday, we just get on here and bet the well, just talk a lot. And uh, what whatever we want to talk about, whatever you want to talk about, uh, we, we talk about. But today, we're going to talk, uh, spend about 30 minutes on how to host the blab. We'll have no blabus interrupt us. And we do this weekdays at uh, 10 a.m. every day. We are the Circadians. And... Uh, who are we? Well, the circadian community isn't built around one individual. We live, work, and thrive in a guru-free zone. Everyone is equal, everyone matters, and everyone has their own special gift. The sum of those gifts being greater than any one individual. What we do is we create event-driven, outcome-oriented business building platforms. Hey, Ron. A, yeah. Let me interrupt you for a second. Is that you froze on me? And I could still hear you, so I, I, you know, I'm good. I went ahead and went with it. But you are actually. Uh, Todd said he can't hear or see you, and it's not coming up even after refresh. So you are on in the presentation. You are on slide um, number three. And right, I'm gonna go ahead and go to three. And if you want to go ahead and hit refresh, I'll kind of explain to them what why we do the things that the way we do them. Well, then, you know what? It's good. It's good. Some of this stuff happens, mm -hmm. and uh, because that way people know exactly what we go through here. Okay, uh, you take over, and I'm going to uh, hit refresh and see what happens. All right. So, so basically, the the slide that we're that uh, I put a link to in there. If you go there, um, th what you'll do is you'll take your window, and and the way to do this, and there's I put a video up earlier is that you you make two windows and then you hit it on windows you'd right click on your uh, taskbar and you'd say arrange these windows side by side and when you do that you'll be able to see us in on one side of your um, screen and you'll be able to see the presentation over on the right side of the screen and the reason that we do what we were just what we were just talking about we, we our presentations the way we do them the way we do do them is because things are going to happen, especially in a beta environment like Blab, things are going to happen. So part of our co-hosting program and part of the way that we do the circadians is that we're prepared for this. So now I'm going to turn it right back over to Ron, who I can, I can see can you, every, again, man. You can see me and you can hear me. OK, well, let's see if we, if we can make it through the rest of this and uh, and go from there. I didn't oh. get that slide three because you know how I talk. Yeah, well, I'm I'm going to slide three right now for those who are following. Uh, what do the circadians do? We create event-driven, outcome-oriented business building platforms, broadcast websites, content, training programs, and more. But mostly, we operate in a guru-free zone, getting stuff done. We welcome the opportunity to elaborate on that. Just ask for an invitation to our community today by emailing Stan at the circadians.com or follow the circadians at the uh, uh, blab.im slash the circadians. Uh, to give you an idea of, of what we do, every morning we have a clinic at nine o'clock and we go over things. They could be technical, they could be changes that happened in Blab or on Google Plus. Uh, we could be talking about uh, doing presentations on YouTube. Uh, we, we talk about things that we're going to talk about to the rest of the day. And then we have kind of like an optional clinic in the afternoon, <clears throat> excuse me, um, where um, if you're, we're in a, a work group situation, but we're not on all the time. But if something turns up and you need some help on something, you can kind of click on that work group and uh, send a message and you can start a hangout and People come in and, and we solve the problem. So that's what we're all about. And that's what we get done uh, during the day. Okay, I'm slide number four, the circadians. We commit to deliver your message in the life 
you've been given. We inspire others to action and be inspired by it. Respect everything for the value that it is. Communicate clearly. If asked a question, uh, answer. And if answering, be clear. Accept responsibility for your life without being selfish. Deliver on your promise and make no excuses for failure. Integrity before pride. Appreciate the now. Everything is as it should be. Never accept mediocrity as a benchmark. Smiles open closed doors, minds and hearts. Give them freely. Folks, I want to tell you something. That is so true. Uh, if you haven't tried it, and I, I kind of do it automatically, and my wife, you know, she always thought I was going through the store and, and I was flirting with, with all the ladies in the store, but I always had a smile on my face and I'd always say, Hey, how you doing? And it's amazing how you can turn a frown into a smile just by your attitude. So uh, give that a try. You'll brighten somebody's day just by smiling and saying hello to them. Uh, let's get started with the rules of blab. Well, they're doesn't really have rules, but the, the Blab team has created some agreements or guidelines they would like the community to go by. So uh, pay attention here. We'll go over these real quickly. Respect each other. Honor the viewer's time. Uh, let others talk. Don't be an awful person to be around. Here's one that we have highlighted. Argue the point, not the person. The host sets the rules to the party unless they conflict with these rules. A couple of them I want to go over, uh, respect each other's time. If you're on a blab and you get in one of the seats, uh, take about 30 seconds to a minute, mention what you want a minute to mention, ask the question and excuse yourself and let somebody else in. Honor the viewer's time. That kind of goes along with that. Uh, don't just sit there and... Um, not say a thing, taking up space. It, it, it's not respectful of others. Argue the point, not the person. Uh, this is a big one because you can disagree with people on many different subjects and you can argue that point, but you don't want to say, Stan, I disagree with you and you're a jerk for thinking that. That's Now you're making it personal and you can like somebody but disagree with them and you don't want to make it personal, that's the wrong thing to do. And uh, um, actually, that comes back to haunt you in a big way sometimes. So be respectful of others. Argue the point, not the person. Uh, we'd like to thank uh, and recognize some people who, uh, who help us because we don't know everything and we get information from others just like you get information from us. And we hope we're passing along the right information and that you like what we do. Uh, Eileen Smith, I, I, you know, she might even pop in here. She did yesterday. Uh, she's probably at work, but when she gets a break, she sneaks in and then she watches what goes on. And then probably early morning hours, you can catch her on her blabs that she does. And she's been on from the beginning and she's a wealth of information. Allegra Stein. Oh, this lady is phenomenal. She is the only one that I know that can put Stan back on his heels and make him think and keep him quiet because of the questions she asked. She is a coach and uh, she is a good one. And uh, if you want to catch her, in fact, you can catch her with Stan on Friday at noontime, I believe. And I'm sure Stan will talk about that more. Uh, Chef Dennis, if you want to see some blabs uh, on food and, and how to use uh, a two camera setup, taking up two uh, blocks and a blab, watch Chef Dennis. Not only will you learn how to cook, but you'll learn how to do a presentation. These are just some of the people. Follow them. Check them out. You'll be happy you did. Now, when you uh, want to start a blab, because that's what we're we're going to be talking about, you'll get to the, the home page, and in the upper right, right hand corner, uh, you click on it, it'll say start a new blab. And uh, if you're following along with the presentation, the slide presentation, a drop down box will come down. Uh, it'll say start a new blab. It'll have profile settings and log out. You want to click on start a new blab. 
And then it's the screen that you will see when you click on start a new blab. It'll at the top, it'll say host a blab. And the rest will be black. Notice the line there. That's where you type in the subject of your blab. And the number on the right represents the characters in your title. You have up to 80 characters. If you go over that, it won't let you type anymore. And you'll just have to change your, your title or your subject. And um, that uh, to keep it within those 80 characters. But that's where you uh, put the title of your blab. Once you fill in that title, the tag box becomes available. There's uh, many tags there that you can choose from. You can pick up the three tags, and uh, when you do, um, a box will be down at the bottom. Want to go live, it, it becomes available. You can add uh, custom images to your blab also, and that's something I didn't know about. I think that happened when I was on vacation. Uh, of course, some people say I'm always on vacation. Um, and uh, sometimes my brain is on a permanent vacation. But you can see that where you can add images uh, to your blab. Now uh, you can pick a time and a date to start your blab. Uh, a clock will be there. You can set the time, a.m. or p.m. You can set it for tomorrow or a time in the future. And uh, once you do that, it'll say schedule a blab. And uh, if you select now, the blab starts now. If you choose a date in the future, a screen will appear where it'll have a time clock at the top how many days, hours, minutes, and seconds. If you have a photograph, uh, an image that uh, you use, that will be there. It'll have the title title of your blab. Um, it'll have a button there that says start now, and it'll also have an edit button. Uh, you can start the blab anytime you want if you notify your followers. And the edit button, you can click on the edit button if you wanna change the title or change the time of your blab. Once you start a blab, you have to join in order to, to use your blab, and you will see a screen where uh, you click on it, and then all of a sudden, your camera goes on, and there you are. You're on in one of those little boxes, uh, and you got your blab started. There'll be The other seats will be open. Uh, you have a, a, a spot there where you can notify others. Uh, of your blab and send it out to uh, to Twitter. Now that you're in the blab, you can lock the other seat if you want to. We do uh, because we try to get through this and we answer questions at the end. And what you'll see there is a padlock with looking like it's locked. If it was an open seat, that padlock will be open. When people ask to join, uh, this is the screen you will see if you're following. We're on slide 16, I believe. You can click the green arrow to accept them or the red X to disallow them. That's up to you. You have a choice. Sometimes we know the people who are trying to get in and we kind of click the red X. And it's uh, one of those things where we... We know they uh, have kind of a reputation for being disruptive, and we uh, we just don't want that on our blabs. Uh, this is what it looks like when someone joins. Uh, you'll see the blue H to the left on the host profile. The guest has a G in their profile, and to make them a host, you click on their name in their profile. And to make someone a co-host, you click on, I just went through that one. What's going on here? Now you'll see an image like this. You'll see the H on the top left with the plus sign. And that's how you make them a co-host. You click on that and it'll make them a co-host. And if they want to see that H, they have to refresh the screen and then they are, it'll, it'll show an H there. That was a but test. That was a test, Ron. Okay. I well, put that it, extra it, slide in there. Yeah, I I took notice of that, <laughs> and I uh, I I failed it miserably. But I at least you know I can I, I follow a follow a presentation and read what's there. 
Okay. Yeah. yeah, it is. As if, like I just said, if you roll over the H, you will see the, the co-host dialogue box. And it, it actually, you know, brings up their profile and and uh, any information they have in it. So it, it's uh, that's kind of self-explanatory there. Now that they're a co-host, they have an H beside their profile picture. But, you know, don't let it give you a big head. It, it doesn't mean anything other than you have the same privileges as the host except one. You can boot anybody out of a blab except the host that started it. He can get back in at any time. So uh, you just can't get rid of uh, rid of somebody uh, if they're uh, if they're the host. And uh, but the, the co-host can uh, delete comments. He'll he'll see the same screens as the host as far as questions go. And um, he can let people in. And just like happened to me where the screen froze, uh, the co-host can take over and, and run the blab. Nothing gets lost. Everything runs smooth. And let's look at some of the comments in the stream. You roll over one of the comments and you'll see the star. And this is an older slide. Things change quickly. And an arrow, the arrow's not there anymore. And we'll go over that in a second. Uh, that's how you acknowledge uh, somebody in the comment stream. You click on the star, and it kind of gives them props uh, for their comment. And um, if you want to uh, to send a, a comment back to them, if you go down in the comment box where it says send a message and you put the at sign in there, it'll bring up a list of all the people who are viewing the blab, and you can pick their name out, and it'll automatically put in their at name, and then you can type the comment, and they'll see that it's directed to them. You will also see as a host or a co-host in the lower right corner a red triangle with an X in there. If it's a comment you don't want on your comment stream, you can just click on that, and it'll remove the comment. Uh, when someone types a question in the comment stream on the right and uses the slash Q feature, um, it automatically gets added to the question column on the left. It can also get uploaded through the likes and stars and props that people give it. Um, yeah, it, it's slash Q space and then your question. You can also, in the comment box there where it says send a message, if you click on the, the, the slash bar over on the right, It'll bring up all those uh, little shortcuts uh, and tell you how to type the question. It'll it'll put that in there. It'll also uh, show you how to change the screen from light to dark, slash light or slash dark. And uh, you can change the comment stream from light to dark and back again. Selecting an answer in the question column will highlight it. And uh, one of the boxes in the main blab screen will show the question. The, it, it's pinning the question in there. Now, if, if all the boxes are full of people, you can't show the question. Uh, one of the boxes has to be empty in order to show the question. If you uh, click a person's picture, it'll, it'll bring up the screen and... Uh, you can report or block them uh, from the blab stream. Stream, uh, and it, it's not a global block; it doesn't last forever. But it just for for that blab, uh, you'll be able to get rid of them. And uh, again, that happens sometimes where you want to do that. Uh, in the beginning, uh, you uh, click the start recording button, and the blab will be recorded. While recording, the button will say pause recording. You can stop and start the recording during your blab at any time. You can also uh, see someone's profile by rolling over their image at the top, uh, as well as their, their, in, in the comment stream, it works the same way. You can uh, roll over their image, it'll drop down uh, a, a box, it'll show their information, their name, their at name, um, their bio, whatever they have in there, uh, you'll see a, a little bird. You can click on that and it'll pull up a, another 
open another tab and give you information about the person. You can see if they're following you and if you're following them, it'll tell you how many followers they have and how many people are following, uh, how many people they're following. Um, the numbers up there, if you click on the numbers, it'll bring down a box and it'll have all the people listed in that box that you can go through and, and get the information on them. If you see a number all the way to the far right, uh, where it might have a, a gray circle with a plus one or a plus two in, that means there's people who are watching the Blab who are not signed into their Twitter account or to their Blab account, and uh, they're watching from the web. After the Blab is over and it was recorded, there is a link to upload it to YouTube. Well, not anymore. Uh, it seemed like they had some bugs in that. And it's still not back yet, as far as I know. And uh, so you can still upload. You still get an email. It'll have the MP3 file, the MP4 file. And you just have to take a couple extra steps to uh, upload it to YouTube uh, the old way, like, like you used to do it before. Managing multiple YouTube channels is supported by Blab. All you have to do is select the YouTube channel you want to upload it to from the screen. After the blab is over, you'll get an email, like I said, with links to download your audio podcast and video files. Okay, now that's going to end the, the slide presentation. I'm going to go back here to full screen in the blab screen. And we can talk about anything we uh, wanted to go over here. And um, uh, 52 new messages. You people have been busy. Uh, we see a, a message there from John. Do you want to let me see if that brings that up? Yeah. And we're also going to unlock the uh, going to unlock the seat just in case John or anybody wants to come in. Uh, actually, we need to get a couple of circadians in here in the meanwhile. Well, let's let John in. Um, let's see. I'd like to be able to embed my channel page, not an individual Hello. blab. Good morning, John. Currently, when I embed the channel page, it shows the most recent completed blab. I'd rather see all the completed and all of the scheduled blabs. Okay, what you're, yeah, you're talking about the embed code that um, on Facebook or are you talking about on your website? I want to, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, I want to be able to uh, use, uh, I used to use the general embed code uh, for the channel page, put it on a, put it on a web page. Uh, I'm building a mini site, uh, you know, just a one page site that's got the, uh, that I want to embed the channel page. I don't, I don't want to have to, you know, edit it every time I uh, add a new blab or schedule a blab or want to show it. Uh, uh, you know, a recent lab. I want to. I want to show the, the whole channel page. You know, with my profile and uh, all. You know, with the, with the uh, links to all the scheduled labs and all of the recent labs. You know, as as I see it when I you know when I go to blab I am slash John Antonacci. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I see all that stuff. Uh, uh, you know, I'm talking more for clients. Uh, since I don't generally blab myself, uh, but you know, if they have six recent labs. I don't want to have to uh, embed six, you know, create six embeds. I want to just embed that uh, their homepage, and uh, and have them be able to, uh, you know, just in one fell swoop, uh, show show all their activity. Yeah, you. I, I know exactly what you're talking about because when they added that to that embed code to the profiles, that whole profile page changed. And it looks everything was different all of a sudden, and and I, I thought the same thing when I. I grabbed that embed code and I went over and embedded it into a, uh, into learnblab.com and I embedded it in the, um, well, that's what he's talking about. Why don't you use your blab profile page? But unless they've changed that, you can come in uh, and talk about that in just a minute. But um, I, when I did that, I went and grabbed the embed code for the, for the uh, whole page is the way exactly what he's talking about is I grabbed the embed code for the whole page and then replaced, you know, because if you look at it and, um, 
uh, let's see, is Michelle here? If Michelle is here, she could come in and, t and tell us what she does to keep ours uh, up to date. All you would have to do is in that embed code is change the, in the, the page of the, to the page source, change the source to the page versus the, um, the, the blab, because right now it picks up whatever bl the last blab is that's showing up in the top of the profile window. Cause I, it didn't do that the first time I did it. First time I embedded it, it was like, because I have kind of the same thing I'm working on is is um, ability to to embed the the circadians profiles onto Learn Blab and it, where you can see everything that you could see if you went there. It is a lot of different ways to do it. You could use it with you could do a frame. I don't. That would probably be the easiest way to do it, John. Oh, an iframe? No, not an iframe. Like. Um, well, again, I'm an old coder, so I, I don't really do that that much anymore. But, you know, there it used to be, and I think frame is the wrong actual word. We called it a frame, but it was where the top of the page was one thing and the bottom of the page was called in from another. Um, it wasn't embedded into the page. It was just kind of a, help me out, uh, Luke. You know, he probably knows the exact term for it, but what you do is the, the top is like, you make the top of that page look like your website does with all the buttons going back to the same place. And then below it, it's not a wrapper. I, I can't think of the name of the term, but you, it was, a, and they, we did call it frames. It was like, here's the top, here's the bottom. And the bottom was not, it didn't have to be on your website. I could pull in that profile from here by putting it inside of that, that again, they call it frames, but that's not what Bill it is. Bill Rowe mentioned table. I don't know if that helps. It's not a table either. either. It's actually one of those things. If you guys will write it down, uh, Michelle, if you guys will do that, we'll do that in the circadian in one of the clinics. I'll show you what I'm talking about because it's a page that's made up of two separate pages. It's not like a, it's not like an iframe, which gets embedded in kind of in the middle of a page. It's, We're not it's talking like about an object tag. A what? An object tag. No, no, unless they've changed, changed what that is, but what that, that's actually called now. But, but basically what you did is you built a page that let's say this was the header, right? And the header was a single page all by itself. And then below it, the other part of the page was another page. It wasn't an iframe. It was actually, but we, for some reason, I know, I mean, I know we called it, I know we called it frames. This was frame one and this was frame two so that it displayed that page below it. And uh, this I mean, page there's was always, separate. The, 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 there's always going to be just the one address bar. So you're only, I mean, you're only in one address, uh, correct? Yeah. But if you're trying to change, like, like how many people are you trying to display in that, in that thing? Well, I just want it for one client at a time, you know, but I want to show all of their all of their web content, um, you know, presumably yeah, well, with an iframe. This uh, page here, this page, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I've been having problems with iframes because it picks up what it actually displays. If yours is doing the same thing mine was doing, was it displays the the last blab that somebody had. And by the way, I just thought about this solution while we were here. This is, you know, cause that's how, th that's actually how the, the circadians, if you come into our community in our clinics, you'll find out that's how we work. It's like, okay, how do we get this done? And there was a, there was a method that this was the top page and this was the bottom page. And you could change, you know, what this page was, you could still use buttons and you told it, you know, this target down here is now going to be this page. So you could literally put a drop down up here with 50 or however many different people you wanted to, to be in it. And uh, I bet Luke is going to be able to explain it to me better because I'm an old coder. I used to do, um, if you want to promote your client's blab content, why not promote their specific profile page? Well, I think that's what he's talking about doing, but it's not, it wasn't called this again. This was back when we did, I mean, notepad was a, was like the tool of choice. You know, that was what everybody used. And, and, and then AWS came along. There was a couple of other things that came along, but this was a, was a header. It was a separate page. And, it, and you told that page, I want you to be 25% of the page. And then this was the page that got called up below that. And that was how that worked was that when you change this up here, this might stay static, but this would change down here. I can't help you, but I think you gave a solution firsthand to, to, well, thanks, John. But we're going to go over. John, that. thank you. Yeah, we got to. We want to try and move on and get some more people in here. Okay, that's fine. Thanks hey, for. John, uh, if, you, if, you, 
if you want to hit me up and 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 ask me about that question off offline or something, I'd be glad to to talk to you about it because I'm actually semi excited that I'm gonna that uh, because I know I can get that to work again because I that very thing is something that I've been having a problem with. I, I created an RSS feed, but again, this is why they this is why they make me be quiet the whole time is because I just will talk. Okay, Michelle. Why don't you tell us what you do? And what I was going to have you tell him was the way that you change the um, that tag for the M, for the uh, iframe. Okay. Well, I am a circadian, um, I'm, and I'm a Jersey girl, and uh, I also uh, do uh, dementia support and awareness on Facebook. My mother has the disease for about seventeen years now. But to answer your question, what I am doing right now is on the circadian page, uh, we take every day's blab and we take the code and we put it on a tab using Thunderpenny. And every day we change that so people can subscribe to the next blab. So we copy the from blab, we copy the source code, we go back into Facebook, we go into the tab that we created. And we edit the source and paste it right in there. So when you go to the Facebook page, you can see what the next day's blab is. Mm -hmm. You just said something though. Do you change? Do you do you switch? I didn't know you were. Are you are you changing the whole? Are you changing the whole source code? Or are you just changing no, the just, source? Just, just, just from source, where, right where the, the yeah, two... Yeah, uh, yeah just that little strip, because because what we did was we changed that source code that instead of it saying 680 by 4 or something like that, whatever it is, we changed the width to 100... Yeah, yeah, it says 100%, so it covers up whatever window that it is. It fills that whole width of that window, and it looks looks better. Hey, DJ. Okay, um, we, we got some more questions going on here. We got a bunch of them we got to get through here. Let me get out of here. Peace and love, DJ. Uh, can you get uh, new tags added to Blab? The only ones you're able to use are the ones that are listed there. Uh, you can't add your own. Um, you can you can contact them though. If you've got one, they do listen on that. Uh, I, while you're, you can go to their that uh, contact page. I think it is down at the bottom of it, and you can say, "I'd like to have this." They do take suggestions because I've seen um, some of them that I use get dropped. I don't know if Luke is is has is meaning us Stan or or himself. Uh, can I still host a blab if I'm ugly? Um, I've already answered that for him. I made him change the word from if to because or. Um, uh, oh, okay. Before. Well, I, I well I'm here, so I guess that answers that question. Uh, <laughs> there's a test. Uh, uh, why don't you use your blab profile page? Um, mm. I guess that was in reference to, uh, um, yeah. to uh, what was going on before. Um, Dan has a question here. Besides the question, can you say again what the shortcuts are? Okay, if you go, uh, Dan, to the bottom there where it says send a message, over to the right, you'll see a forward slash. If you click on that, it'll bring up all the list of the shortcuts. And... Um, and then you can pick the one that you want to use. Yeah, if you click the at sign there too, it'll bring up everybody that's in it'll the bring blab. Up, yeah, the everybody that's viewing the blab. Uh, um, I don't know. We can get another circadian in, but uh, while while we have a few seconds, I'll. Uh, I'm a circadian, and uh, I just I mentioned earlier, you know what we do and what we go through. But what I do is I do engraving. And I engrave calligraphy and I do artwork on glass, metal, some wood. And um, that's what I do. And sometime soon, uh, I'll be doing a blab on how I do my engraving and I'll show you how I do it. But one of the one of the things that we do in the circadians is we help each other and we have a plan that I'm working on to uh, to get my uh, blab together. So it's coherent and people understand it. And uh, and I get the help from the other circadians, make suggestions. And um, that's what we do. So check us out. Uh, 
and get some some more information, I think you'll be happy you did. Well, look there. There's John Prado. I, I'm just getting a chance to look up across the top to see some of the people in here. And uh, Scott actually does something with like uh, Scott Silverstein is does. Uh, he he runs under another thing. But if you want to come in and, and say something about what you're you're talking about there, Scott, with uh, using the Blab profile, I believe you're talking about the same thing. Is that if you take that if you take the embed code and you change the embed code to the p whole page, like it'll say source equals, and then you instead of using the embed code for the blab, put the embed code to like blab.im slash Stan Bush or the circadians that should work as a, is it to embed their, uh, their profile? I, I haven't actually tried it. So because it just came up in here today, but that's exactly what I'm going to try to do to, to um, can't step in on a phone call. Well, I'll tell you what, how can you not like Scott? Because, uh, if you go to his profile, it says if green vegetables smelled, uh, um, life expectancy would grow by leaps and bounds if green vegetables smelled as good as bacon. Anybody who loves bacon is a friend of mine. I got to follow him. I think he's a pizza guy <laughs> or something like that, too. I think he's got something about pizza. And John Preto up in the top, if you're not following John, you need to do that. Um, actually, hey, that looks like Elizabeth. Hey, Elizabeth. And is that to door? Yep. Um, and the TCS, my son actually does some work with um, police officers around the country. He's with a company in Atlanta that does some things with you guys. And I will get to John. John had a question. I believe there was a question that we did not get to um, with, I assume, jQuery and just give you the latest blab they do. Hmm. Okay, so I am going to work on that frame I talked to you guys about. It's old school. I don't know. And I'm positive John Preto could tell you what it is off the top of his head, but I quit doing any real hard coding years and years ago. Um, Alan Marston. Hi, Alan. Um, but I think that we're kind of at the end for today. What do you think, man? Yep. It's 1037. We're 25 minutes, so we, we're over the promise. We're over the promise. Yeah, we'll probably get stones thrown at us if Nina's anywhere around in the world. She'll... She'll be hammering us for, for getting up here. We, we try, we, we made a promise to keep it short, folks, and we try to do that. We know we go over a little bit each day. But anyway, we'll see you tomorrow where we talk about common best practices for live streaming. I'm going to stop the recording. I just, I'm going to stop oh. it again. <laughs>